So we've learned a little bit about the integration with Active Directory and virtual appliances. In this lab walkthrough, we're actually going to configure that and see what it looks like in our lab. So to do so, we need a few elements as mentioned in our previous lesson already. So we're gonna start off with the Cisco Umbrella dashboard. And when we're on the dashboard and logged in, we need to navigate to deployments, and then we need to navigate to sites and active directory. This is the same place where we did the configuration for the VA, as you can see VA003 here. Um, now, in fact, what we're going to do now our VA is up and running. We're going to go to the top right hand side corner here and click download. And now you can see we get a few options for Active Directory components. So we're gonna need both of these. So we're gonna need the script for the domain controller and we're gonna need the AD connector or Active Directory connector. And in this particular lab, we're actually going to install or use the script on our domain controller and we're actually going to install the Active Directory connector on our domain controller just to make things easy for this particular lab. However, in a live environment, your Active Directory connector is likely going to be a separate server within the same network. So what we need to do is we first need to download the connector and the script. So we'll do that now. And it'll do the same thing as it always does with the VA. It kind of just generates a configuration relevant to our environment. And then it downloads it. So we'll download the connector as well. And then once we've done that, we need to copy those files across to our domain controller in this instance. If you are using a separate machine for your AD connector, then you would copy that AD connector file to the machine where that AD connector will be installed. Our Windows script will be copied to the domain controller. So that, let's do that now. As I say, we are using the domain controller for both of these, for this particular lab. All right, so I've got both of these files now copied across to the domain control and I've put them under a, a file called umbrella demo files. What you can see here is you've got the script for the domain controller. This is named OpenDNS Windows configuration script 2023 or the date in which you download that. And then we also have the connector. So we've got two files there. So we just simply run that setup. So what we'll do first, we've already spoke about the prerequisites in the previous lesson. So we just need to confirm before we install the connector that we have a suitable account for our AD connector. And you'll see why as we go through the installation. So with both of these files now, we're gonna run the connector first and we'll just click into that and run that setup. And we need to run the connector before we run the uh, domain controller script. So let's just install this connector first. So we'll run through the installation, select our storage location for the setup and it's going to tell us that all the AD groups, users and computers except the built-in groups will be synchronized to Umbrella. So we'll just click next on that. And this is where the relevance of the username comes in for when creating the, um, or running through the installation for the AD connector. Because we need essentially a service account that is created within Active Directory. And that service account needs to be able to do a few things as we spoke about already. So the account that you create, you can use the default one here. You can create a username and AD using this account or you can specify your own. We'll stick with this one because I've already created this account in our Active Directory. But you need to make sure that, as mentioned in the previous lesson, that the account that you do use is a member of the enterprise read only domain controllers group as well as the event log reader group. So we're just going to specify a password now for this user. This is a password that you created when you set up the account in Active Directory. And we'll click next. 
and this is just going to validate it and you, and you can see that it took a little while before it went on to the next screen and that's just because it validated those uh, credentials and you can see there in the text here and hopefully you can see it just basically says the open dns connector credentials validated successfully now if you are using a proxy for outbound communication you do need to specify the information here we're not using one so we're just going to ignore this and press next and now we can see that the connector is ready to install so we'll just click install on that and we'll give that a moment to install and there you have it so that's the connector now installed and we can click finish on that so the next one is running the script so we're going to run the script now and we'll run this with elevated privileges and we can see that when we start running this now you can see it's just going to ask us a few things so domain control is fully configured would you like to register this domain controller with umbrella we're going to say y for yes and that's registered now so that theoretically should be it with regards to the running of the script so now if we return back to our umbrella dashboard we should be able to see a few new additions in there so on the umbrella dashboard let's just cancel out of that now and let's just refresh this screen there you go and after refreshing the screen you can actually see there we've got two new components we've got the domain controller uh, that's been added with the uh, ad connector as an ad connector and we could also verify that that service is running on the uh, machine as well but we won't because we've just installed that and i'm fairly confident that it's running and we also have the domain controller itself that's been registered when we press y uh, when we was running through that script there so we can see the internal ip address that's being used in this lab environment we haven't assigned it to the site yet so we'll quickly do this for both so this is in the cci security lab okay and then status you can see that we've got um one saying that needs attention and then we've got one saying error so we can see that the connector was once connected but it's not currently connected to any of the dcs available and then it's got a link to help hopefully resolve that issue now this should all be fine i'm going to give this a few minutes to sort of collaborate and hopefully we should see those statuses change all right so we'll just give it a quick refresh and we can see now it's taking a little bit of time you can see it was installed and run 25 minutes ago but you can finally see that the status of both the domain controller and the ad connector are now green which is great and the last thing we can do is we can actually verify that our va 003 can actually see the ad connector as well and that's going to help us confirm that integration as well so let's do that now all right so with access to our cli uh on the va 003 we're just going to do config va and i think it's this but let's just double check config va show so with config VA show, we can see that we've got our resolvers configured just as a kind of reminder again. We've got the IP address configured for our local DNS. And then we've got the name and a few other bits and pieces. So if we now do show um, config VA status, we can now see that for ad our ad connector we can see it's active and green which is good so that shows that our integration is up and running and okay and you can also see that the other information that we've looked at before is also green and all in place as well so that confirms the integration now with our active directory and our virtual appliances for our lab environment so that's it for this lab. In our next video, what we'll do is we'll 
generate some traffic from a machine within the lab environment and we will see what sort of information we can get now that we've integrated Active Directory with our virtual appliances. See you in the next lesson.